MVFX-08 Eclipse is the main mobile suit of the manga Mobile Suit Gundam Seed Eclipse. This work is one of the projects called Gundam Seed Project Ignited to commemorate the 20th anniversary of the broadcast of the Mobile Suit Gundam Seed series in 2021, and the story takes place after the first battle of Jachin Du, the final battle of Gundam Seed. The Eclipse was developed by the Orb Union as a special covert type mobile suit and is operated by the Orb Disaster Relief Team, or ORDER, the International Disaster Relief Team under the jurisdiction of the International Cooperation Agency and Auxiliary Organization of Orb Ministry of Foreign Affairs, which operated under the name of Protecting Orb Nationals and their assets abroad, and is at the core of their missions in the background of history. As of July 2023, Unit 1 and Unit 2 have appeared on the scene, with Tatsumi Hori and Ken Norland Susi fighting on Unit 1 and Unit 2, respectively. In this video, I will explain the Eclipse Gundam. In the world of Mobile Suit Gundam Seed, the feud between the Naturals, who are ordinary humans, and the Coordinators, who are genetically engineered people, is spreading, and on February 14th, Cosmic Era 70, the plant colony Junius 7 where the coordinators live was destroyed by a nuclear missile attack by the Earth Force. The so-called Bloody Valentine tragedy occurred. As the war between the Earth Alliance and Zaft spread, the Zaft side launched Operation Euroboros and implanted Neutron Jammer on the Earth to deter nuclear fission, thereby suppressing the use of nuclear weapons on Earth. This not only made it impossible to use nuclear weapons on Earth, but also caused serious energy problems. The battle between the Allied forces of the Earth, the Natural Camp, and the Zaft forces, the Coordinator Camp, began, but eventually, toward the end of the war, Raoul Lucruzet of Zaft leaked information about the Neutron Jammer Canceller, which disables Neutron Jammer and allows nuclear weapons to be used again to the Earth Alliance. Both sides were able to use nuclear weapons. As a result, the battle became a quagmire, and the real leaders of both sides, Maruta Azrael on the Earth Alliance side and Patrick Zala on the Zaft side, died. With both sides exhausted, the war came to an end. Thus, in September Cosmic Era 71, the story of Gundam Seed came to an end with the final decisive battle known as the, the Second Battle of Jachin Du, and the following year, in March Cosmic Era 72, a ceasefire treaty known as the Unius Treaty was concluded between the Earth Alliance and Zaft. This disarmament treaty included a ban on the use of Mirage colloids and nuclear weapons, as well as restrictions on the number of mobile suit possessed. Against this backdrop, the Orb Union took every possible measure to maintain its position as a neutral country and to eliminate the danger of being on the side of no one instead of being an enemy of no one. Especially in the military aspect, Orb, being an island nation, was trying to strengthen its air power to be able to intercept enemy forces before they attacked the mainland. This idea can be seen in the variable type mobile suit mirror same that appears in Seed Destiny. However, since the Cosmic Era 60s, Orb has also had the idea of launching an attack when the enemy is ready to attack, rather than intercepting an invading enemy in the first place. Therefore, there was a plan to develop a strategic bomber capable of attacking enemy bases from ultra-high speed, high altitude, and ultra-long distance. This remained hypothetical strategic research for a long time, but in Cosmic Era 71, when the Earth Alliance led by Azrael invaded and Orb was practically placed under the occupation of the Alliance, it suffered the greatest humiliation since its foundation due to the persecution of the Earth Alliance. Therefore, after the conclusion of the Unius Treaty, Orb regained its sovereignty from the Earth Alliance and began full-scale research and development of Eclipse in order to prevent such a tragedy from being repeated. Against this background, the Eclipse was completed by analyzing the original concept of a strategic bomber and the freedom of Kira Yamato, who had taken refuge in the Orb. The basic philosophy of the Orb is neutralism and denial of aggression and non-intervention in conflicts, so Eclipse's operational policy of striking first is at odds with the Orb philosophy. Therefore, if Eclipse's existence is revealed, it is considered one of the top secrets because it could shake the basic principles of the Orb, and furthermore, if Eclipse's existence is revealed, the Sun, the symbol of the Orb, will go into the shade. The name Eclipse, which means Solar Eclipse or Lunar Eclipse, was given to the mobile suit. 
the organization that operates Eclipse, Order, is officially called the International Rescue Team, but in reality, it is an organization that is used to pick up the seeds of conflicts that could threaten Orb in advance and pretend that they never happened. There are two such mobile suit, Eclipse 1 and Eclipse 2. Originally developed as a fighter based on the concept of a strategic bomber, the Eclipse was able to successfully solve the chronic problem of conventional variable mobile suits, namely, vulnerability of mobile suit form due to complicated structure, by analyzing the freedom, and it also realized supersonic speed, high altitude, and long distance flight in mobile armor form, and was able to achieve a high degree of rigidity even in mobile suit form. In the work, Valentina Bynon, who saw the Eclipse and thought it was a vulnerable machine because it is a variable type mobile suit, tackles it with her Zaka Warrior, but it does not seem to be affected. The machine is also equipped with phase shift armor, which makes it nearly ineffective against live ammunition. In addition, to enhance its stealth, it is equipped with the Mirage Colloid function that makes the mobile suit nearly invisible, so it has a high stealth function. Combined with the high-speed movement of the mobile armor form, it is capable of single-handedly infiltrating deep into the enemy's sphere of influence, far from the mothership or base of operations, and in mobile suit form, it can also play tricks on enemy forces as a single machine. However, because it is such a special machine, it is equipped with a dedicated OS and is described in the work as an incredibly peculiar machine. In addition, because it does not take into account the physical burden on the pilot, the pilot of this machine is required to have both a robust body and high piloting skills. First of all, both machines are armed with the Type 72E4 Beam Rifle Gene Rai. Equipped one on each side of the waist, this weapon can also be used in mobile armor form and functions as a stabilizing wing. The grip portion of the Gene Rai can be separated and used as a Type 72 Beam Saber. Next, both arms are equipped with the PS-02 Beam Shield, an armament that mainly appeared in the Seed World in Cosmic Era 73, the year in which Mobile Suit Gundam Seed Destiny is set, but in the Cytostory work Mobile Suit Gundam Seed Astray, the Hyperion which appears in 71 Cosmic Era, uses a light wave protection shield called the Armure Lumiere, and this is where the development of beam shields in the Seed World began. This may be why Eclipse's beam shield seems to be in the process of development. In addition, this machine's shield can be used not only for defense, but also for attack as an arms word. In pursuit of flight performance in mobile armor form, Eclipse has only these armaments to avoid dead weight, but it can respond to various maneuvers by adopting a connector for a striker pack on its back. The first dedicated striker pack is the Maneuver Striker. This was developed at the same time as the fuselage and has four booster units that can be operated as a standalone fighter form. It also has optional armaments that can be attached to the nose. By combining to form the Maneuver Eclipse, mobility is dramatically improved and acrobatic maneuvers become possible. The MG version of the Gundam model kits shows a beam cannon-like shape at the tip of the booster unit, and the nose armament looks like a beam cannon. However, in the beginning of the manga, Unit 1 and Unit 2 are only briefly depicted fighting in their maneuver Eclipse forms, and no details are given in the description of the MG Gunpla, so this remains a mystery. Next is the Raijin Striker. In Gundam Seed MSV, there is the Lightning Striker, which was developed to reinforce the Strike's battery pack, supply power to friendly mobile suit, and snipe at ultra-long range. The Raijin Striker is a striker pack developed by Orb based on this. Therefore, it has a high capacity battery and two Type 71XX curved beam guns. These beam cannons have built in Mirage Colloid control capability, so it is said that they can bend beams. When combined with the headgear, it can be used in combination with the composite pods on the wings of the Raijin Striker to enhance its sensor system and its booster can be fully open to instantaneously increase thrust using a function called overdrive. In the work, Eclipse Unit 1, driven by Tatsumi, is struggling against Ail Calamity, driven by Joel Jean Merjiru, the commander of the mysterious organization Antifactus. Ken rushes to the aid of Skygrasper equipped with Raijin Striker, restores the battery, and attacks. Despite this strong assault capability, there is one crucial difference between the two Eclipse models, their power source. The first is battery powered, 
while the second is nuclear powered with neutron jammer canceller. Originally, the Eclipse's strategic bomber concept included nuclear attack in its design. In such a situation, if Eclipse's performance were used indefinitely with its nuclear engines, it would be possible to use the stealth of the Mirage Colloid to attack at ultra-high speed, and then use the NJC to launch a nuclear attack, which is a terrifying thing to do. Perhaps for this reason, for political reasons, the operation of Unit 2 was discontinued, and even its OS was not installed, and it was stored as a spare part of Unit 1. The head sensor of Unit 2 is an improved version of the multi-purpose sensor unit installed on the Aegis, and it has a high search and rescue capability, but this is said to be because Unit 2 was required to function as a bomber. In the work, Ken, a coordinator, was initially selected as the Eclipse's pilot candidate, but Tatsumi, a natural who happened to use the Eclipse's compatibility test simulator, was chosen as the Eclipse's pilot because he achieved the highest compatibility rate of 98%. As a member of the order, Tatsumi intervened in various conflicts under the command of Miyabi Odo Kyo with Ken, and threw themselves into the battle to make everything pretend it never happened. As the battle unfolded between Antifactus Ale Calamity and Eclipse Unit 1, Ken, unable to see that Tatsumi was struggling, successfully activated Unit 2 by having Miyabi transmit the master program for its exclusive OS to him on the grounds that he was covering for Unit 1. However, Ken attacked and incapacitated Unit 1, which was supposed to be his ally, and together with Unit 2, they defected from order to join Antifactus. Eclipse Unit 2 has an armament that Unit 1 does not have. These are the Type R2W2 Real Sword, which incorporates Jen's Heavy Slashing Sword, a special shield, and the Type R2W1 Beam Rifle for nuclear-powered machines, which was developed based on Freedom's data. Although these weapons have not yet appeared in the work, they are set to be created by Antifactus from the design data that was left behind, so it is thought that these weapons will be used in future battles against the Order. As an aside, although Orb is ostensibly a neutral country, in reality, it is the country that will do anything to protect itself. Since Orb is a nation ruled by five families called the Five Noble Clans, it is not monolithic, and there are descriptions related to the conflict between the clans and the story of Ken's betrayal. This work also allows us to learn about the inside of the Orb. In Orb, the country that does everything, Akatsuki appeared in Cosmic Era 73, the era of Gundam Seed Destiny, but since Mobile Suit Gundam Seed Freedom the movie is two more years later, it would not be surprising if they have obtained the Voiture Lumiere aka Wings of Light technology, and perhaps we will see a new Eclipse model with the Wings of Light, or a new Akatsuki model. That's all for today's video. Please subscribe to this channel and hit the like button. And I'd be very happy to watch one more video if you'd like. Thank you for watching.